think we all know the answer, but did you know you needed those two free throws for 30? Yeah, I think I felt it kind of coming on there. I knew I had 28. Uh, I was still a little worried about the game, but I knew if I made those, it was looking good. So I just focused in on making those and uh, and got 30. So that was that was nice to have that accomplishment under my belt too, along with a really good win for us. So three more. You had the the back to back threes were huge, obviously, and then you know sealing it at the line. How how big did it mean to to you know come through at the end there? Yeah, I mean it, uh, it's kind of lucky that I've been making free throws when Shaver's missing, and I'm missing when Shaver's making. So it's a good thing we got each other's back there. Uh, and we're, we're not both missing in the same game. So um, good thing I made some of those down the stretch. Uh, they made some tough shots. Jenkins had a couple tough threes there down the stretch. But uh, we closed it out, and we got another good win. So uh, on to the next one on Saturday. Quick turnaround. So You went up to Duryea, and you, like, called the play. You saw that? Yeah. And he just, I told him. And, I told him. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you beat him on the back door. What, what did you see there to go over to coach and say, hey, let's run this? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not rocket science. We saw their game against Air Force. They they love to get out in the lane. They kind of, that's what I like to do too, just kind of deny. And Mashburn really can't help himself. So I just like waited till he tried to jump in and then I just back cut. Uh, but it's funny because the other, the, like just the last game, Duryea called like dribble or something. I was like, no, no, no. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And it worked perfectly. And then this game, I was like, let's run that play. And he's like, no, no, no. I'm like, trust me, let's run it at 10. And then we ran it and it worked perfectly. So uh, I talked to him about that after the game too. So that was uh, one of my more happy moments t as a player too. So. Did you, did you, you, did you, down, you were down 13 to a really good basketball team. How did well, you guys pull out of that? Uh, Puzo, you can take that. Uh, I think we just knew the things we needed to fix. We needed to get the guys off the, you know, the offensive boards, and we needed to stop letting them leak out and get in transition. So, um, you know, we just knew it was two things that were easy fixes. So once we got those, we felt like we were in it. How big was that seven zero run? I think final minute or whatever for you in the half. Oh, yeah, locker. yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, just going into halftime that much closer uh, just made a big difference. Yeah. Puzo, this was a good knockdown couple tonight, man. Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, I was in a little bit of a slump, but, uh, you know, I'm never going to stop shooting. So I found my rhythm again. It feels good. Man, he hit some critical ones where we were down 10. I think he hit that one to cut it to seven before half. Uh, the first play of the game, he's the one who got the offensive rebound. I kicked it back to him. He hit that one. So uh, I think he's a big reason why we got what, the win tonight, too. So the, the, the one off the missed free throw, Tyson grabs it. Yeah. That was it. Can you take us through what happened? And then the yeah, we didn't even have a guy on the other side. I think he solo squatted all those dudes, and they're one of the best rebounding teams in the country. So those are just kind of the plays you expect from Daggy at this point. Like They kind of get overlooked, but that was probably the play of the game just because we missed the free throw. And he gets the O board, kicks it out to me, I made it. So that was a huge swing, and I think that can change the whole dynamic of a game. So then it was like 12 seconds later you hit another one, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> on the on the play though, you're saying you call the play. Like, do you know that the New Mexico guy is just on you so tight that yeah. if you kind of make one move, you can back on him? Yeah. Well, they're kind of known for that too. Just kind of a pressure defense, kind of like San Diego State a little bit, but um, they're a little susceptible at the rim uh, to those back cuts. And Shave had one at the rim where I thought he got fouled by Alec, but um, it's tough out there to get those sometimes. So. Um, that, we kind of put in a bunch of backdoor plays. The coaches did a great job uh, with that scout this week, putting those in, and I think it made the difference in the game today. How much fun was that second half, just with the crowd and just coming back like we did? Uh, it felt like we were just hooping, having fun, you know. Um, the crowd was there tonight. They were loud, energetic, so that was a lot of fun, too. Um, yeah, it was just great atmosphere. There's obviously a lot of talk uh, coming into the game about the game down there and everything that happened at halftime and all that. I mean, it's just. Any, any, is it just a normal win, or is there any extra special uh, meaning to this one? Um, you know, I think Coach Rice handled that great. You know, uh, people say what they want to say, but uh, I think we were just focused on winning the game. You know, we wanted to win that one bad, and we needed it. Um, I don't think there was really any extra juice, to be honest. We just knew we had to get that one. Miller and Jace seem like they're getting, they're getting you more each. Have you noticed that in practice? Like, I mean, is this kind of where this team is right now? You guys, you guys have a bench? Good. Yeah, I think definitely, uh, you know, we have a lot of guys that can contribute. Um, you know, a lot of guys like, like Jason uh, Lucas that just come to practice every day. And, you know, no matter if they played last game or not, they're still going 100% going hard. So, you know, when it's their turn, they're ready to hoop and they're ready to play and help us win. You look at the match burn in the house tonight, 6 of 29 uh, combined. Um, how are you guys so efficient or effective? Yeah, I mean, I, I think our biggest thing is just the help defense along with his on-ball defense. is It's really tough to get by us. And then he's a great on-ball defender, so all we have to do is kind of stunt. And 
he'll do the rest. And then I think Shaver did a really good job contesting those mid-range because he knew that's what they want to get to. Uh, in the first half, I think he had three or four contests where I was like, wow, that was really impressive. I think he blocked one of them. Uh, so he was a really a really good defensive player along with Booz the other day, which really affected them. It's just two, you know, really good players. Um, you know, keep making them take tough shots. Obviously, they're going to make some of them because they're good players. But when you keep making them take those tough shots, they're going to miss some of them. So that's what happened tonight. Max, I mean, is it going to mean anything to you? Uh, I mean, you, in my opinion, you should be on the all-conference team this year. I mean, you know, maybe a teammate or two should be on there, too. Um, was that something you would think about, or would it be an honor for you? I mean, I mean being an all Mountain West player this year. Yeah, well, first of all, I think, Mallory, you should be on the all-media team uh, just because I think you're one of the best. So uh, that's a good question. But, um, yeah, I think I'm more focused on the team right now. I don't really care about accolades like that. I care about winning and making the NCAA tournament um, and just being out there with my guys. Like, I've dreamed about times like these. Um, and during the game today, I was in the huddle. I was like, this is fun. Like, let's enjoy this. Let's hoop. There's no pressure out there. Like, we're in a great position. We're, I don't think we're on the bubble personally, but – um, some other people might, but um, we just got to go next game mentality. Uh, we got a big home game Tuesday, senior night. Um, so shout out to all the students who came tonight. I think they did a really good job, and, and I hope they come back Tuesday because we really appreciate that. One, one game back at first place, three games to go. I mean, what's the feeling like right now? Um, I mean, we worked all season long to get in this position. You know, it's the final stretch. I think, I think we're just more locked in forever. You know, uh, uh, we got a game on Saturday. We're looking forward to it. We're just locked in. Do you feel sometimes when Max lets one go, it's going in? I think there's a lot of times where he lets it go, and I think it's going in. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of times where I'm like, that's not going in. So. For, for you, Max, I you kind of touched on it there, but just those back-to-back buckets you had are pretty critical moment of the game. I mean, did you hear the crowd? Did you feel the energy? I mean, it was yeah. pretty rocking at that point. Yeah, I think uh, House was kind of off me a little, little far, and I noticed that when I was coming up. So I was like, I was thinking about it beforehand. If, if I get the ball here, I'm just going to turn and shoot it. Uh, and then later in the game, I had one where I was like, probably should have held it. I don't think I shot that one with as much confidence at all. And that, that one was short. But shooters are going to keep shooting, and uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So. Max, the shoes you got after those back-to-back three-pointers were some of the loudest I've heard since I've been covering this. What is it like to, you know, for us, we're mortals. What is it like to hear the crowd go so crazy like that? Yeah, it's, it's super nice. It's starting to feel uh, really like a basketball town and a football town. It's both. It's just... I think uh, our fans are really awesome right now. Um, I had a guy come here from Spokane, one of my good friends, he, just the other day. He was at the, the last game. And he's like, I've never seen it that loud in there. And he's been to a bunch of my games over the five years I've been here. So um, I think that's just a credit to all of our fans. Uh, and also the students, I think, really showed out tonight. And um, I think if we can get that crowd again Tuesday, it's going to be a heck of a Mountain West game.